So. Well, uh, the men are in action a little bit later on. Uh, uh, this, uh, yeah, this, after the World Cup, we were looking for something to cheer us up. I mean, you know, they, they posted a decent total, but ultimately it was another poor performance, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, some uh, some decent performances with the bat, and, and uh, they're just having it tough at the moment. I mean, there's so much talent there. I mean, they've gone for this sort of new look side, haven't they? And mm. giving some of the some of the other guys a bit of a go, but uh, and then the wheels fell off with the ball in hand. It wasn't a great performance. It looked a little bit confused. It looked sort of tactically a little bit unaware of what was going on as well. But I mean, these things happen when things aren't going your way. It takes a long time just to get back into that rhythm of winning. And I think that's what England have got to find. As you say, had a good score, but then just, you know, it's about getting the batting and the bowling and the fielding all coming together at the same time. And that's yeah. what they're having problems with. In in your department though, Phil, in, in the spin department, we're not too yeah. badly off. We've got, I mean, Rian Ahmed is, is starting yeah. to look the part. We've yeah. got his, his brother, Farhan, coming through. He's only 15 playing for the under-19s. He's an offie. So, I mean, yeah. it's, it's good. It, I mean, the signs are good, I think. Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, he's a he, he's potentially a bit of a superstar, I mm. think, Ryan Ahmed. You know, with bat and ball, enthusiastic, got great uh, variations and can play in all formats of the game. So, uh, I think he's got a huge future ahead of him. Obviously, you never lost form ever, um, Phil. But uh, Sam, <laughs> Sam Curran's lost a bit of form. What do you think he's? What do you think is going wrong in his? Uh, do you think it's physical? Do you think it's mental? Do you, what do you think he needs to do to get back? Yeah, I think it's just one of those things. That when, when you come off a, a sort of a bit of a hammering in a World Cup, and you know Sam Curran was one of our sort of like leading lights yeah. going into that, and, and he got his confidence knocked a little bit, didn't he? he? Played a couple of games and then was sort of taken out of the firing line. So he needs to get back at it a little bit. Um, you know, super, superb cricket, all the experience in the world. He'll be back. It's yeah. just it's just this England side at the moment are just having it tough. And you go through stages, you know, it's like football teams, all sorts of teams. And sometimes you're just scratching your head. I mean, we were all scratching our head at that World Cup going, what is going wrong here? It's very difficult to put your finger on it. You've just got to start sticking together as a team and uh, and then things all turn around. There's so much talent in, in uh, England white ball cricket that yeah. I'm sure it's just around the corner. They just need a little bit of luck to get winning again. And just a quickie, uh, Harry Brook has been saying that he's deleted all of his social media apps to help him with his mental health. He was saying, you know, I've yeah. been off social media for a while. If I stumble across anything, I delete it from my phone. It just keeps him away from the negativity. And he made the point that, you know, the boys are on tour. They've got a lot of time on their hands. They're in their room. Start scrolling through their phones. They come up oh. against something. Mm. I mean, I, I, thankfully, it wasn't around in your time, you know, because I'm sure <laughs> I'm sure you would have engaged <laughs> taking some of these blokes on. But it's yeah. true. It's it, I mean, it's a lot of people in sport are saying the same thing. You, you think maybe getting off it's a good call, isn't it? Well, I, I think it is, you know. I think it is um, because... You know, I mean, it was in my days, it was always the newspapers, you yeah. know what I mean? And you always sort of said you never read the newspapers, but you sort of did, you know. You were always sort of like, if there's one laying around, sort of just sort of like have a little sort of flick through it and what have you. And it does um, it, it does allow that negativity to creep into your head, especially when you're away on tours, there's nothing else to do. You're sitting around um, with a lot of sort of time on your hands. I think it's a very good call for sportsmen. It, it, it allows you just to concentrate on the task at hand with no other interferences you know you've got your mates you've got your coaches you've got the people that you go to in, in times of you know lack of form and what have you uh, you know you don't need all these other outside influences getting stuck into your brain good to talk to you Kat. thanks very much for joining thanks. us Paul Hawksby and Andy Jacobs Monday to Friday afternoons 1 till 4 on AM on DAB via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker TalkSport